to fight that one. I got me a spade blackjack. Thanks to my buddy Daniel here. Check it out. I know I get a lot of questions about spade kayaks. Well, finally, it took maybe, what, five years. I finally got me a spade. And this is their blackjack, which is like a small cop creaker. I measured it. It's eight foot five as far as length. And the rocker in the bow is at 15 inches from the part line down. And the stern is 10 inches. So it's not an overly rockered boat. And it's not a very long boat. It's actually a short boat. It kind of is like the same length of like something like a mamba. And looking over the outfitting, I like what Spade does with the outfitting. They use these uh, these cam cleats, which these are very common. I've been seeing these a lot more than I like here lately. But I really like the rope that they use. They have a very high quality rope, and this thing works extremely well. One thing they did, they added really good gussets on that. So look how stiff. These are the stiffest molded in thigh braces in the history of kayaks. Look at that. You cannot even bend that thing. So they did a really good job on that. And something else that was unique to Spade that I have not seen, they molded in their step out pillar. Check that out. Everybody. The, the step out pillar is molded into the seat. It's not a two piece like a lot of companies do. They do a two piece. This is like one continuous mold and it goes up in there and they have foam that inserts into the into the front of this thing and holds it in so there's foam from here to here and all of these are like molded in inserts so those two they're molded in inserts and they feel like injected molded plastic are these plastic he said they're plastic how do you say yes in german yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> these are actually like the waka but they're you know they're very big they're not like small and they have zero flex to them so they feel good and that's a nice cutout that i think they did on there not too much going on up here they have a little bit of a molded in wall holder here that goes into the top of the step out pillar if you look at how their rim goes it goes up and then it has a flat spot here i've never seen anyone do a rim like this it goes around turns and then flattens out and then cuts back nicely little drain port that probably does nothing because it's so high this seat According to him, he said that there's a series of holes here. So you have to remove this bolt all the way out, move your seat, and then put it back in. Have you moved this seat at all? Yeah, I did it once. Obviously not that easy. Um, so as long as you have your fixed position, I mean, obviously you don't change it. Yeah, it's dead center right now. Uh, back band's nice. It's nice and cushiony, and they have their spade logo on it. They run this webbing, this bungee goes around and it goes under there, ties off. It's one continuous, this is actually one continuous bungee. I would like to see them mount it to the seat right there so it doesn't move up when you're getting worked in a hole or looping or something. They have accessory loops back here, foam pillar back here. Zet does this and I do not, I don't like it at all. I'd rather see another handle here because good luck. They're good for like clipping onto or grabbing or running a strap through, but I like a big handle. I would rather see one of these here. Cool name, you know, they have the whole theme, Royal Flush, Blackjack. Well, then they came out with a Barracuda, <laughs> right? <laughs> and let's look over the hull. As many boats as I've seen, this kind of has that like European type style of hull. It's flat right here, but the rocker is only from like here to here. And the rail actually runs right there and then it runs all the way down to right there. And they've tapered that off and tapered that off. Looks like he's getting a little bit of stern tap in there with the rocker. So it's more like kicked on the ends if you can kind of see it there. Not a very aggressive rail at all. To me, this is like a hybrid, a planing service. You can see it's like displacement there, planing back there and planing up there. Very interesting. We're gonna give it a whirl. So let's, um, let's get it on the water. Off kids. That's it. One thing I did notice, they have a plastic drain plug, which I'm not a fan of. They have a little insert right there, which I think is for a, a cord to run to that. I don't know, maybe somebody could tell me what the heck, why would you put an insert back here by your drain plug? I don't know why they did that right there, but very interesting on that. And the step out pillar has a nice handle for holding onto. I do like that. They did a good job on that step out pillar. I like the way that feels. So the hip pads are similar to daggers with these ratchets right they, they got buckles where you can take the hip pads on and off he actually turned his hip pads backwards because he likes it like that i'm just going to leave his outfitting the way it is sitting in it i can tell you the, the thigh braces are very comfortable and there's zero flex in these things but it's very low right here in the knees cockpit kind of feels like just a regular size cockpit i really like how deep their combing is they have a very deep cockpit combing i mean we're talking like almost two inches as far as they're combing. I think more manufacturers should do that. 
It doesn't feel small. It feels like a medium. The initial stability is good. It's a sporty boat. You need to be active now. And yeah. We're a little bit too big for it. You can see the water line is pretty low. The initial stability, though, I like it. Like, I feel there's a lot of volume right there. I love that footrest because it's like a moment to the front. You can tell the footrest is angled forward and it's like a pocket. So my feet are rested upon it. It just needs some padding. Because if you hit something, there's nothing to kind of like absorb. Boost really good. There is zero edge to catch. Oh, it gets off quick. It gets off quick. It's it's so short. It gets off so quick. in but it resurfaced predicted and it's lifting like yes. that like the volume's taking over you and lifting it's got to be but this volume back here doesn't let it do so that so it lifts out Woo. like it would be really good on little tight micro creeks this thing would be pretty much a beast the way you can kind of whip it around let's try to over this little hole here. See, it has that volume in the back, so you can't really tell it. Feels very friendly, like very predictable. Nothing kind of crazy is going on. hand angle on this. Fuck it.
does feel like a hybrid of everything. Lack of rocker definitely helps this thing plug it. Because it's so short, it drives really quickly. Um, it was sporty. Man, this thing was sporty, and it does. It, it seems to pierce in and then drop up. And I think what causes that is that volume back there takes over and pushes you out. It's squared off at that very back area. And then it has a very nice smooth rail on it that's like tucked in and sporty when you need it, but it's out of the way when you don't. Um, I was able to get really good flare boosts off of rocks. I never felt this rail hold up. Agile, and you have to be active all the time. So in comparison to a boat like this, it's, it's, a, it's a slow board for sure. Yeah. It's not fast. But you can do amazing moves, small eddies, you can be a jar, you can turn a lot on hot creeks. And that's why we love that boat. This would be a beast on those micro creeks. And that's why I want to take it with you on the Raven Well, there you go. Raven <laughs> It's a different story. I don't know about that. <laughs> I took a Toro out there, for God's sakes, and I back got my ass kicked. <laughs> I want Rocker out there. Um, I want to be able to blast over those rocks. Overall, I think, I think they did a good job on this thing. I, I feel that it's... It's one of those that kind of does everything really good. Doesn't do anything particularly great, in my opinion. I wouldn't say, wow, that's awesome. It just seems to be very predictable and does everything really good. Pierces through, takes care of you. I felt like, I never felt any surprises. There was not like, whoa, like, like what the heck's going on? Because they, they had, they've tucked that edge in, they've tapered it so cleanly that it works. And the outfitting, I, dude, after I got set in it, the outfitting feels really good in this. You know, he's going to have this for sale for $1,500. <laughs> it's going to be six years old by the time he has it for sale. So, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for letting me borrow it, Daniel. And uh, let's get out of here.